Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at an air temperature that's coming in around the 80 degree mark thanks to a high dew point value of 75. The temperatures are going to fluctuate a little bit today on and off depending on whether or not we see uh, showers moving through that are cool things off for a time. And then as we... Uh, and get those showers out of here. Things will heat up a little bit and then cool off again. That, that's going to be kind of the roller coaster I think that we take. Generally speaking, our temperatures held down by the cloud cover that's going to be around. And the showery activity that I expect to see today, today will probably be the wettest day of the next two or three days. We'll start to transition as we head into midweek into a more typical summertime pattern. 75 with Chula, Arcadia, Mayaka. By the way, Mayaka City is coming in at 76, but old Mayaka, Becky and old Mayaka, reported in with a 69 degree temperature. So obviously, temperatures fluctuating depending on where you are. 77 in Bradenton Parish, 82 in Venice, 82 in Inglewood, 78 in Northport, and 83 degrees at Longbow Key. We have a, a big area of disturbed weather just sitting very close to us in the Gulf. And I'll tell you what, if things had worked out a little bit differently, we could have seen some places in the Big Bend region that picked up over the course of the last two days and the next two days, perhaps as much as 15 to 20 inches of rainfall, putting it in line with a tropical storm kind of downpour. As it is, they're still going to get plenty of rainfall, no doubt about that. We have seen many locations that have gotten two, three-inch rainfalls. And you, you look at the total rainfall for the month of August, and it's generally coming in around nine inches. So we'll probably pick up about half our normal monthly rainfall totals in the course of two or three days. That classifies as a rain event, no doubt about it. Right now, we've got some showers located uh, just to the east of the interstate. Nothing really heavy at this time. The heavier storms kind of have dissipated and, re and died out just a little bit. We've still got some offshore, though, that are pretty strong. Strong, gusty winds associated with some of those storms, and certainly Pinellas County getting hit pretty hard. There's been one big storm move over the Skyway Bridge, but if you are leaving, say, Manatee County on your way toward crossing that bridge into Pinellas, there's still some more showers that will be moving on past. And, you will encounter some rain there. Locally, well, we got some more showers offshore, and those will be rotating across our region throughout the mid-morning and afternoon hours, bringing us about a 70% chance of rainfall today, the wettest day of the week, no doubt. Low pressure to our north continues to spin around. Little spokes of energy rotating on the underside of that low bring us chances of rainfall today and tomorrow that are higher than most normal summertime days. Eventually, that low is going to retrograde back to the west, open up, and kind of die out, returning us to our more typical summertime pattern. So, a wet start to the work week, breezy, cloudy, with waves of rainfall through the day here and there. Not everybody will get rain, but a lot of us will. And then we'll wait for that midweek transition back into more typical summertime pattern. Forecast for boaters today, southwest wind at about 15 knots, but you've got rip current issues, and of course you'll be dodging thunderstorms out in the Gulf, some with gusty winds, two to four foot seas, a moderate chop, obviously not a great day for boating. Forecast calls for another good chance of wet storms tomorrow, wet uh, weather tomorrow, and then as we head into Wednesday and Thursday, we start to get back into a transition to more typical summertime stuff.